In one of the least hospitable places on Earth, they are virtually the only things that move. 22 radio telescopes so far, a further 14 are being built. But these, part of a small Pathfinder project, are just a foretaste. If Australia wins its bid to be the site of the world's most powerful telescope facility, 1,500 will be built here, with a further 1,500 spread across the rest of the country and New Zealand. Ultimately, 3,000 telescopes will operate as a single scientific instrument. That square kilometre array, so-called because of the total surface area of its dishes, will be able to detect radio waves 13 billion light-years away, look back in time to witness the birth of stars and, if it's out there, detect alien life. The vision really is to shine a flashlight into the darkest corners of the universe. If people up there exist and they're using radio communications, we could actually see them. Um, if there's a, a radar, for example, the strength of an airport radar within 50 light years, we would actually be able to see that. But Australia faces tough competition. A rival bid based in South Africa, but with telescopes across nine countries, is tipped to get the nod from a panel of experts. A formal decision, though, won't come until next month and Australia hasn't given up hope. Promotional videos are just part of the pitch. There's more political stability here than in Africa, they say, but the trump card is the sight. Listen. Absolute silence. But there's also a silence you can't hear, radio wave silence. And it's that that makes this sight so ideal. To detect radio waves billions of light years away in space, telescopes can't be distracted by signals on Earth. There's no TV or mobile phone coverage here. Just 100 people live across an area 25% bigger than the Netherlands. This telescope is around about 100 times more powerful than the existing radio telescopes in the world. So uh, over the years, radio astronomy has taken these big leaps forward, and this is the next big leap forward in radio astronomy. Wherever it's built, the telescope will cost over $2 billion, put up by seven different countries who will share the results of research. But hosting brings extra funding for scientists and kudos, the right to claim to be the world's centre for astronomy. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Murchison, Western Australia.